of Revelation. This is what it's called. There are so many things which is unfortunate for mankind is not ready for the change that comes. The destruction comes. And above all, we affect humanity and its existence and its production and its own substance as our research team watched Farada in his interview. What tore us of our hearts were not his words but rather the obvious pain of his awareness edged on his face. We know in plain sight all too well of its echo of its own of the knowing of the horrific catalysm to come and which causes it as we call the Farada Casey whole shift and it will happen when the massive objects pass close enough to gain a litosphere lock on the earth thereby pulling the skin of the planet around this will cause the pole shift predicted by Edgar Casey. explanations of how for research planet X was first begun in 1781 It's up there, it's up there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Danny, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. It's, it's there, look. Yeah, see it. See it? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, hang on. Yeah. See, it's not a lens, right? rotation of the earth has been manipulated by not so benevolent star beings. The twins will be seen in our northwestern skies. They will come and visit to see who still remembered the original teachings flying in their patotos or flying shields. They will bring many of their star family with them in the final days. Great dangers and disasters are foretold in the second prophecy. An object which is at the same place all the time and appears to be tumbling. Well, we've had it ever since yesterday. It just seems to be tagging along. Have you a foe? Have you a foe? Have you a foe? Have you a foe? UFOs have appeared that? around missiles that were in flight, no and then you see little ever. beams coming out of the UFO, and all of a sudden the missile plunks okay, down, UFO. and it's completely radioactively inert. Some people might not okay, know UFO. exactly who the Pleiadians were, so why would President Obama want to fire an ICBM at the Pleiadians? Because they're here to rescue the human beings who are being enslaved on this planet and forced into a paradigm of a super oligarchy that favors the Bilderberg group and the Illuminati and is completely and utterly without any conscience towards the human beings whatsoever. Many will appear to have lost their souls in these final days. So intense will the nature of the changes be that those who are weak in spiritual awareness will go insane, for we are nothing without spirit. They will disappear, for they... These people definitely want that. All they know is work, school work, yeah, they, they, they don't know about Bibles and prophecies. Yeah, it seems to be too bad. Everything is coming to a time where prophecy and man's inability to live on earth in a spiritual way will come to a crossroad of great problems. Why are they spraying randomly towards the sun, straight towards the sun? And why are they spraying in front of the moon? I mean, is there some sort of um, stellar starship or something that's trying to um, send signals down towards our military and they're trying to stop it? 
There appear to be extraterrestrial with, uh, forces that are steering the evolution of life on Earth. And the divine intervention that we're now seeing is systematically making it impossible for this cabal to start World War III. Look, water is leaking from her eyes. It's what they call dangers and disasters are when we are successful in the second prophecy. And we have a real chance. Do not seek to justify your love of destructive energies, Megatronus. I will build you a new weapon. Two new weapons. I have trod this globe since the first day it existed and handled weapons my day and magnificent. I'll be waiting, Megatron. You found it? I've heard the legends of it. Studied writings about it. But I never, in all my many cycles, thought I would ever be in its presence. We have a real chance at this new world order. It's trying to destroy everything else. I must have the enigma in order to survive the coming apocalypse. They do know this. From what they've experienced so far, it has an effect on people. Dark matter has an effect on people. It causes some people to go screaming mad. Book of it Revelation. Control. This is what it's called. The revelation to reveal of St. John the Divine, the Apocalypsis. So in Revelation chapter number 9 and verse 1, the scripture says, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven under the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And basically saying, you're not going to be allowed to do this, but these higher level ETs could totally destroy them overnight, and yet they're not. They, they do a little here, and they do a little there. And the New World Order guys seem to be able to keep on functioning. But then they get handicapped even more, and they get handicapped even more. And this has been going on for some time. They do know this, from what they've experienced so far, it has an effect on people. Dark matter has an effect on people. It causes some people to go screaming mad. It controls people. It is an, it is an enormously powerful thing. It's pulling something out of hell that you don't want any part to do with and turning it loose on mankind. Now, you know, I don't know the time. <laughs> I don't ever been in agreement with an atheist before, but I'm in agreement with this one. <laughs> okay, we have the third one then, the one one. The water's better, it's very And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So as the third part of it was darkened, and the day shone not for the third part of it, and the night likewise. Now, was this actual damage to the sun, or is this a way of describing that it's, it's been blocked? We acknowledge our need to learn the I real truth about you. I know brought down, have suffered tremendously, and have been very, very noble and brave to risk everything to help people. They have done this experimentation. Strange things are happening. Unexpected by the scientist. Paranormal phenomena, they like to call it. Apparitions, ghosts, all kinds of demonic spirits are beginning to manifest themselves in ways. Here we have in CERN, Switzerland, a huge wheel. Inside that wheel is a Hindu God and his name is Shiva. He does a dance of destruction inside that wheel and his purpose is he is one of the triad gods, one of the greatest gods of Hinduism. Take a look at our God. Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. Brahma now, is the god of creation. Of the Vishnu the is the god of preservation. But Shiva is the god of destruction. To see a hundred billion galaxies. Well, how many stars are there in the visible universe? Count them. A hundred billion times a hundred billion. That is an astronomical number. You have to be supremely arrogant to believe that we are the only ones in town. We will have an existential shock 
a type one civilization. thousand light years away from the As center of our galaxy, of an and our galaxy planet. is over a hundred thousand light years they across. Control the weather. But even that, as large as it is, is kind of a speck in the cosmic they distance volcanoes. scale. They control Earth our waves. Milky Way galaxy we may appear big to us, but compared to some others out there, it's actually the pretty small. Race. This, this, this antimatter is also called dark matter. And dark matter has energy attached to it. And the energy affects people. It affects them. And remember, when you produce antimatter, you've got to contain it. Because if you don't contain it, you've got to contain it. That's the biggest problem, containing it. Because if you don't contain it, it just goes wild. And they don't know what it's liable to do. Now, folks, go check me out. Go check I me out. I want you to. Go check me out this afternoon and see what it says about antimatter. And it'll say, yes, 66. you better contain it. Come down, come on. I ain't gonna bite you. Come around here and let me have a look at you. My goodness, look at you. You turned out all right, didn't you? How do you feel? Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. You're not human, are you? Well, it's tough to get any more obvious than that. If I had to guess, I'd say you're a program from the machine world. So is he. So far, so good. But if that's true, that could mean you're a part of the system. Another kind of control. Keep going. I suppose the most obvious question is, how can I trust you? Bingo. It is a pickle, no doubt about it. Bad news is there's no way if you can really know whether I'm here to help you or not. So it's really up to you. Just have to make up your own damn mind to either accept what I'm going to tell you or reject it. NASA said just a few days ago, Candy? NASA. NASA said just a few days ago, NASA. They said just a few days ago that by the year 2020, that we will definitely come in contact with aliens beings from another planet now we're talking about scientists we're talking about darwin's crowd we're talking about the crowd that threw the bible out and said it's old archaic anachronistic it doesn't belong today we're talking about that bunch we're too smart for the bible we're scientists yet this crowd is saying that in just a few years that they're going to know that they know that they're going to come in contact with alien beings. I thought to myself, my, 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 my. You boys, have you already, have you always known that? That you've got a certain date set? From the very beginning. It is not just that we, the Pleiadians, have come to assist. We are only one grouping from one star system. There are many who have journeyed here for many reasons. The majority of the extraterrestrials are here for your upliftment. Though there are also those who are here for other reasons. We give our version of things only to bring you into higher consciousness. We do not wish to say that this version and only this version is how it is. This whole teaching is designed with a great purpose in mind. And the stories that we tell you are set up to take you to a higher plane of consciousness. That is our intention. You are magnificent beings, members of the family of light, and you come to Earth at this time on assignment to create a shift, to make a change, to assist in the transition. You were told before you came here that there would be much assistance and that at different junctures of your development, 
different entities would present themselves Five upon the planet in different capacities to trigger you, fire you up, and remind you streams. not to do it for Five you. Since we are one of those triggers, a catalyst. Still when you hear the name streams. Pleiadians, you feel a connection because we are assisting you in bringing your own information, your own knowing forward. You yourself chose to be here. You are on assignment to bring memory forward and to bring the value of human existence back to the forefront of creation. You are needed. You have been in training for this assignment for lifetimes and you did not come unprepared. How is that? All that you need to know now is inside of you Can and it you is your hope? task to remember your training. You this is not a lifetime when you are going to be taught new information. How As we that? said before, this is the lifetime when you are going to remember what you already know and we are just here to remind you of it. That is part of our assignment. You, Humanity is an experiment. Humanity has been designed as has just about everything else that exists in creation. Prime Creator began experimenting with creation a long time ago in this universe for the purpose of greater self-exploration, self-gratification, and self-expression. Prime Creator brought energies and essences of life, extensions of itself, into this universe and endowed those extensions with the gifts that it had. Prime Creator said to these extensions of itself, go out and create and bring all things back to me. Earth was a beautiful place, located on the fringes of one of the galactic systems and easily reached from other galaxies. It was close to many way portals, the highways that exist for energies to travel through space. The very word space. secrecy is repugnant. In a free Some of the creator society. gods were master geneticists. The master geneticists designed various species, some human, some animal, by playing with the varieties of DNA that the sentient civilizations contributed to make Earth into this exchange center of information, this light center, this living library. The original planners of Earth were members of the family of light, beings who worked for and were associated with an aspect of consciousness called light. They designed a place where galaxies would contribute their information and where all would be able to participate and share their specific knowledge. Earth was to be a cosmic library, a place of incredible beauty that experimented with how information could be stored through frequencies and through the genetic process. The project of the living library on Earth was eventually fought over. During Earth's early history, there were wars in space for ownership of this planet. Skirmishes took place, and Earth became a place of duality. Certain creator gods who had the right to do whatever they wanted, because Earth is a free will zone, came in and took over. When the skirmish occurred, a certain group of entities fought in space and won the territory of Earth. These new owners did not want the native Earth species, the humans, to be informed of what took place. Uninformed, the species would be easier to control. That is why light is information and darkness is lack of information. These entities beat out light and Earth became their territory. These new owners who came here 300,000 years ago are the magnificent beings spoken of in your Bible, in the Babylonian and Sumerian tablets, and in texts all over the world. They came to Earth and rearranged the native human species. They rearranged your DNA in order to have you broadcast within a certain limited frequency band whose frequency could feed them and keep them in power. They worked in their laboratories and created versions of humans with a different DNA. 
the two-stranded double helix DNA. The original DNA pattern was left within the human cells, yet it was not functional. It was split apart, unplugged. We, as Pleiadians, came back through time into what would perhaps be called our past. We came back in order to share a frequency with you, a frequency that each one of you has agreed to carry on this planet in order to change the DNA of the rearranged human race. Earth is assisting in its own way yeah, the evolution they of the universe. It is where the plan begins to blossom and what happens on Earth is going to affect many, many worlds. The creator gods who had been ruling this planet had the ability to become physical, though mostly they exist in other dimensions. They keep Earth in a certain vibrational frequency while they create emotional trauma to nourish themselves. There are some beings who honor life before everything else. And there are also beings who do not honor life, who do not understand their connection to it. So don't, so don't go stating who are these beings the who came in the and rent asunder the original plans for Earth? Who are these space beings we sometimes refer to as the dark t-shirts? These space beings are part human and part reptilian. We call them the Lizzies because we like to make things a little less emotional and a little humorous so that you don't take them so seriously and get so upset. We are not here to frighten you. We are here to inform you. They have fed off your emotions. One of the big secrets that has been kept from you as a species is the richness and wealth that accompanies emotion. You have been steered away from exploring emotion because through emotion you can figure things out. Your emotions connect you with the spiritual body. The spiritual body, of course, is non-physical, existing on the multidimensional sphere. Why are we telling you all this? Why do you need to know it? You need to know it because the Lizzie reality is re-entering and merging with your dimension. Double rainbow. Double rainbow with As you awaken to your history, you will begin to open your ancient eyes. These are the eyes of Horus, which see not through the eyes of a human being, but from the point of view of a god. They see the connectedness and purpose of all things. For the ancient eyes are able to see into many realities and to connect the whole picture, the whole history. All of this is to be felt. Allow your brain cells to click into being without your rational conscious mind wanting to define things down to the most minute detail. This experience involves raising a feeling inside yourself and then one day at one moment, in one afternoon, having an overwhelming sense of knowing, having a composition of a thousand pages long come alive in five seconds of divine ecstasy. Before you came into the body, all of you committed to designing events that would fire your codings or blueprints, that would activate your memories. Then you came into the body and you forgot all of you have had your blueprints and coatings fired to some extent because you understand that there is a divine purpose or divine plan that you are a part of. You hold the history of the universe within your physical body. What is occurring upon the planet now is the literal mutation of your physical body for you are allowing it to be evolved to a point where it will be a computer that can house this information. 
the firing of the coatings and the realization of your identity are going to become phenomenally intense. The reason for this is the evolving DNA. When you have 12 helixes of DNA in place, those helixes will begin to plug into the 12 chakra system. The 12 chakras are vortex centers loaded with information that you must be able to translate. Whoa, you have to become come super come beings come in, come in whatever reality you enter come because, as members of the Family of Light, the branch come of here, Renegades, come here, come here. this is your forte. It's, it's there, it's there. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. As members of the Family of Light, you know the inside scoop. You come as ambassadors to make realities merge and become more informed within themselves so that everyone involved can release fear and become uninhibited. As you grow and come to these higher realms of recognition, you will break through what feels like cement blocks, layers of yourself that have held you down. Think of the frequency that has limited the human experiment as a radio station. The human experiment has had one radio station on for 300,000 years. Same old tunes. The human experiment was unable to turn the dial and hear a different band, so the same frequency was broadcast. This created a quarantine, a sealing off of this planet. The creative cosmic rays sent by Prime Creator and the original planners pierce through this frequency shield. They bombard Earth. However, they must have someone to receive them. Without a receptacle, these creative cosmic rays would create chaos and confusion. You, as members of the Family of Light, come into this system to receive these rays of knowledge. You then disseminate the knowledge, the new lifestyle, and the new frequency to the rest of the population to alter the entire planet. The ultimate tyranny in a society is not control by martial law. Perhaps it we is need control by the psychological manipulation of consciousness think how through which reality is defined so that those who exist within it do not we even realize that they are in prison. They do not even realize that there Yet is something outside of where they exist. We represent what is outside of what you have been taught exists. It is where you sometimes venture and where we want you to dwell. It is outside of where society has told you you can live. With the chief commander. <laughs> what we want more than anything else is to assist you, as members of the Family of Light, to succeed in liberating the humans. Focus on the dance of yourself. To what tune will you dance, and to what magic will you perform, and to what heights will you be willing to push consciousness to give it a new definition of possibilities? Members of the Bringers of the Dawn, or Family of Light, work in teams. You don't go into systems alone. You need each other to do this work, because you cannot hold the frequency by yourself. By going in as teams, you increase the odds of successfully carrying out the plan. You are like rays and light spirals of the central sun that are very intelligent and you are guided by a great intelligence inside the central sun. The members of the family of light are much more than human. Characteristically, you are supreme achievers in the multidimensional realm. One applies for a position in the multidimensional realm as a member of the family of light. If you were to have a business card printed up for yourselves when you are in full memory of your identity, it would say something like, renegade member of family of light systems buster available for altering systems of consciousness within the free will universe on call
They're annoyed. They're upset. We speak to you as if you are not human, because to us, you are not. To us, you are members of the family of light, and we know your multidimensional selves. We speak to you about dealing with humans, because it is your assignment to integrate with them, soothe them, and awaken a spark of light within them, so that they are not all destroyed, and so that this place can house a new species and a new realm of activity. Our final words include a thank you to all of you who recognize the light source that is a part of your identity and that moves you to follow the silent whispers that echo down the golden spirals through the corridors of your own being. We honor you, we recognize you, and we are here to assist you. We are all here as the family of light to bring that choice and that freedom to evolve back onto this planet. They're annoyed. They're upset to see what they're doing in our skies. They know now, many of them know now, it isn't to do with uh, passenger plane spray. Family of light. When the sun becomes a different color of being white, they spray very heavily. Look at this photograph. Wake this up. This proves it. before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. We have the power. They know now. We just need to take it back to this level of division, of partness, cardness, to isness, I amness. I am all that is, ever has been, and ever will be ness. Look at this photograph. This proves it. Some people might not know exactly who the Pleiadians were. They're here to rescue the human beings who are being enslaved on this planet and forced into a paradigm of a super oligarchy. This is the level of the transformation. This is the level of the revol revolution, if you want to call it that. It's not guns, it's consciousness. What a mind job. So you're here to save the world. What do you say to something like that? Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. In order to walk among us, they disguise their appearance by cloning human flesh from their own reptilian skin. I thought everyone here was up to speed. But the visitors didn't just get here. They've been here for years. This completion has been heralded by many for eons. What happens on Earth now will affect the entire universe. Do you know what? You can all jog on now. I know I'm not. The story of the Blue Kachina is a very old story. Very old. I have been aware of the story of the Blue Kachina since I was very young. I was told this story by grandfathers who are now between 80 and 108 years of age. Frank Waters also wrote about Sakwasaho, the Blue the Star Kachina, in the Book of the Hopi. The story came from Grandfather Dan, oldest Hopi. And I know I probably mispronounced that <laughs> very badly, please forgive me. It was told to me that first the Blue Kachina would start to be seen at the dances and would make his appearance known to the children in the plaza during the night dance. 
this event would tell us that the end times are very near. Then the blue star Kachina would physically appear in our heavens, which would mean that we were in the end times. In the final days, we will look up in our heavens and we will witness the return of the two brothers who helped create this world in the birthing time. Pogangahoya is the guardian of our North Pole, and his brother Pogangahoya is the guardian of the South Pole. In the final days, the blue star Kachina will come to view the world and will return the earth to its natural Answer nobody fucking pure in this goddamn fucking world!
to grow markedly weirder in the final years of Tesla's life. The story of the Blue Kachina is a very old story. So, so don't go stating that the camera or the Perhaps we need are some outside universe enhancing it. Because Perhaps we not. need. Perhaps we need. Perhaps we need. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would bend. There were so many things. And who is the father of the Son of God? God the Father. You saw this now, you're saying. There are so many things which is unfortunate for mankind, is not ready for the change that comes. But then you realize that. But then the destruction you realize that. comes. But then you realize that. And but then you above realize all. But then you realize that. We affect humanity and its existence and its production and its own substance as our research team watched Farada in his interview. What tore us of our hearts were not his words but rather the obvious pain of his awareness edged on his face. We know in plain sight all too well of its echo of its own of the knowing of the horrific catalysm to come and which causes it as we call the Farada Casey pole shift and it will happen when the massive objects pass close enough to gain a lithosphere lock on the earth thereby pulling the skin of the planet around this will cause the pole shift predicted by Edgar Casey. explanations of how for research Planet X was first begun in 1781 Suddenly, an alarmed squad of police officers stormed into the lab, demanding that Tesla stop at once. We will have an existential shock. A type 1 civilization has the power of an entire planet. And it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? In one of their collisions, when they collided these particles together, they saw things. They were apparitions. They didn't expect to see. They didn't fit in any model. They didn't fit anywhere. They don't belong. But they, they could not deny the reality of it. Something was going on inside there that they could not explain. And it was scary for them. For the scientist has his paper and his pencil and his books. And if it doesn't fit in his paper and his pencil and his books, it's out the window. They don't understand. They have a hard time accepting the fact that there is a spirit world out there. That spirit world was created by a spirit being. An almighty, eternal, absolute being that is from everlasting to everlasting to put in me what I am today by the power of Almighty God and by the power of the new birth. But a scientist like that will never admit that. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew the hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yeah, but baby. I've been here before I've seen this room and I've walked this floor I used to live alone before 
This, this, this antimatter is also called dark matter. And dark matter has energy attached to it. And the energy affects them. It affects them. And remember, when you produce antimatter, you've got to contain it. Because if you don't contain it, you've got to contain it. That's the biggest problem, containing it. Because if you don't contain it, it just goes wild. And they don't know what it's liable to do. Now, folks, go check me out. Go check me out. I, I want you to. Go check me out this afternoon and see what it says about antimatter. And it'll say, yes, you better contain it. Well, there was a time when you let me know what's They do know this. From what they've experienced so far, it has an effect on people. Never show that to me. Book of Revelation. This is what it's called. Why are they spraying randomly towards the sun, straight towards the sun? The rotation of the earth has been manipulated by not-so-benevolent star beings. The twins will be seen in our northwestern skies. They will come and visit to see who still remembered the original teachings flying in their patawotos, or flying shields. Book of Revelation. This is what it's called. The Revelation to Reveal of St. John the Divine, the Apocalypsis. So in Revelation chapter number 9 and verse 1, the scripture says, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses, prepared to battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. They had hair as the hair of a woman, and were teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron. The sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. And there were stings in their tails, and their power was in hurt. Their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Watch this. Whose name in the Hebrew is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Woe, one woe is past. And behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Bless this holy book, my Father. I pray in Jesus' name now for unction to preach it. Rotation of the earth has been manipulated by not so benevolent star beings. The twins will be seen in our northwestern skies. They will come and visit to see who still remembered the original teachings flying in their pato those are flying shields. They do know this. From what they've experienced so far, it has an effect on people. Dark matter has an effect on people. It causes some people to go screaming mad. It controls people. It is an, it is an enormously powerful thing. It's pulling something out of hell that you don't want any part to do with and turning it loose on mankind. Now, you know, I don't know the time. No, I've never been in agreement with an atheist before, but I'm in agreement with this one. No more. Baby. Until you are nothing. Okay, we have the third one then, the wormwood making the waters bitter, third trumpet. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So as the third part of it was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. 
Now, was this actual damage to the sun, or is this a way of describing that it's it's been blocked for? Who, that's splitting, a place I've only you know, seen pictures geophysical of. hair, as far as I'm concerned. I know you, but we've never met. I'm with you. What's happening? And it says that they name. worship the beast, the image of the beast, and it's described as like no. 40 feet tall, and it's in all the public places, and it speaks. Yes. And it can look whatever it wants to look like, and then it communicates to everyone in the world, and everyone marvels at the beast. Yes. And then you've got the false prophet, who tells you to follow yes. the devil. Yes. Yes. And again, if you actually study the Bible, I don't even look at these theologians to actually read it myself, and it makes Five perfect sense to everything we're looking at today. Wipe, and I'm still haunted by these dreams. Second Corinthians chapter number 10, verse 3 said, Victoria For though we walk in together. the flesh, we in do two not weeks, war our mission after here the will flesh. be finished, and we'll join the others. But the questions I ask, she doesn't. Wrong. The things I wonder about, she Long doesn't. time fought I did. It's been half a century since the scavengers destroyed our moon. Forced to leave their own dying planet, you were afraid? they came to take ours. Yes, afraid. Without the moon, the Earth was thrown into chaos. Earthquakes toppled cities within hours. Tsunamis wiped out what remained. Then came the invasion. We did what we had to do. When I get to heaven, I'm gonna look around. We used the nukes. I won't see you when I get there. We won the war. But lost the planet, make it with God's help. left it contaminated, most of it uninhabitable. Please. What remained of humanity had to leave the Earth. We built the tent, our mission control, Please. a temporary space station before the migration to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Not far be behind the now. twins will come the purifier, the well, Red Kachina, almost who everyone. will bring the day of purification. Until our tour is complete. And I do our On this day, the Earth, her creatures, and all life will know will change forever. Which convert Earth's sea will water to fusion energy for the new colony. The, purifier. They the will survival of humanity to those on Earth who remember the old ways. The messages will be found written in the living stone, through the sacred grains and even the waters. Remnants of the scavenger army continue to disrupt the operation. Ice. From the they purifier will issue forth a great red light. Try to kill all me things will the change day. in their manner of being. Every I living thing will be offered the opportunity to change. Why. From the largest to the smallest thing. Mission says we have Those done who return well. to the ways given to us in the original that teachings we are and live a natural an way of life team. will not be touched by the coming of the purifier. They will survive and build the new world. Only in the ancient teachings will the ability to understand the messages be found. Vic is my communications officer. She keeps an eye on me. I handle drone maintenance. Many will appear to have lost their souls and the drones these final watch days. everything. So intense will the nature of the Becca changes be to go. that those Me, who are weak in spiritual so awareness sure. will go insane. For we are nothing. I without can't spirit. shake the feeling. They will that disappear. Earth, for they are just hollow vessels happened, for anything to use. Earth is still my home. Be many doorways to the lower world that will open at this time. Things long forgotten will come back to remind us of our past creations. All living things will want to be present for this day when time ends. Jack Harper, I'm Tech 4 9 spray in front of the moon. Okay, you have heard. I mean, is there some sort of... Stellar starship or something that's trying to um, send signals down towards our military? Is it to do with um, submarines? When they collided these particles together, they saw things. They were apparitions. They didn't expect to see. They didn't fit in any model. They didn't fit anywhere. They were blind. They, they could not deny the reality of it. Something was going on inside of it. It could not exist. And it was scary for them. I'm good to go. For the scientist has his paper and his pencil and his books. And if it doesn't fit in his paper and his pencil and his books, it's out the window. They don't understand. They have a hard time accepting the fact that there is a spirit world. That spirit world was created by a spirit being. 
an almighty, eternal, absolute being that is from everlasting to everlasting who put in me what I am today by the power of Almighty God and by the power of the new birth. But a scientist like that will never admit that. I'm a good girl, but I want to be bad for you. It's also called dark matter. And dark matter has energy attached to it. And the energy affects people. It affects them. And remember, when you produce antimatter, you gotta contain it. Because if you don't contain it, you gotta contain it. That's the biggest problem. Contain it. Because if you don't contain it, it just goes wild. And they don't know what it's liable to do. Now folks, go check me out. Go check me out. I want you to. Go check me out this afternoon and see what it says about antimatter. And it'll say yes. He's gonna you better contain it. I've considered 130 possible countermeasures, and there's nothing we can do to help her. Yeah, they can't girls ain't no good. Good girls ain't no fun. I still can't find a nigga that touched that. I don't know one, and I search for it. Never trust, but I'm working on it. Fell in love with that rap game. Swim pool, you surfing on it like y'all say, do the surfboard. Surfboard, they still think you a church girl. We linking up on your days off, and I still give you that work, girl. Like, work, twerk, do it like that video. Wanted that for a long time. Couldn't wait till I get though. First year, we both fronted, we had feelings, we didn't show Second year, we couldn't hide it, funny part, they didn't know Hello and welcome, welcome to me, welcome to my wife Who would have told you wrong, though, it's your life, word up You bring out feelings in me, I never show You bring out feelings in me, I never show So they don't deserve it, they feel like it's perfect I'm loving your style, the way you preserve it You look in my eyes and see what's inside You know that it's pride, I say that I'm worth it But baby, I'm ready, really I'm ready I'm ready like never before I'ma just give you a key to my heart You be the friend that I let in the door I used to hear that you flirt with them guys They never was caught, all you was hearing about me and the women And just like before, you know what you're doing Fuck what they said, you know what we on When we appeared, it's like we on stage And I got the mic, so let me perform, sing it What's going on inside my brain? You're somewhere in my DNA. You got me way up in the sky, sky, sky. Just pull me closer in the night, night, night. But I'm only human. Just what can I do? Something cosmic is going on here. Something cosmic is going on here. Something cosmic is going on here. NASA said just a few days ago, NASA, they said just a few days ago, that by the year 2020, that we will definitely come in contact with aliens, beings from another planet. Now we're talking about scientists. We're talking about Darwin's crowd. We're talking about the crowd that threw the Bible out and said it's old, archaic, anachronistic. It doesn't belong today. We're talking about that bunch. We're too smart for the Bible. We're scientists. Yet this crowd is saying 
that in just a few years that they're going to know that they know that they're going to come in contact with alien beings. I thought to myself, my, 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 my. You boys, have you already, have you always known that? That you've got a certain date set? Chemicals. You got, uh, you got my money? Yeah. 
talking about Darwin's crowd. We're talking about the crowd that threw the Bible out and said it's old, archaic, anachronistic. It doesn't belong today. We're talking about that bunch. We're too smart for the Bible. We're scientists. Yet if this crowd is saved, then in just a few years, that they're going to know, that they know that they're going to come in contact with alien beings. I thought to myself, my, 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 my. You boys, have you already, have you always known that? That you've got a certain date set? told that we would see America come and go. And in a sense, America is dying from within because they forgot the instructions on how to live on earth. Everything is coming to a time where prophecy and man's inability to live on earth in a spiritual way, we'll come to a crossroad of great problems. It's the hope you believe, it's our belief that if you're not spiritually connected to the earth and understand the spiritual reality of how to live on earth, it's likely you will not make it. Everything is coming to a time where prophecy and man's inability to live on earth in a spiritual way will come to a crossroad of great problems. It's the hope you believe, it's our belief that if you're not spiritually connected to the earth and understand the spiritual reality of how to live on earth, it's likely you will not make it. Why are they spraying randomly towards the sun? Time has come. Execute order 66. Yes, I They're annoyed. They're upset. To see what they're doing in us guys. They know now. Many of them know now. It isn't to do with the passenger plane spray. When the sun becomes a different colour of being white, they spray very heavily. Look at this photograph. This proves it. So don't, so don't go stating that the camera all the photographs have been tricked or enhanced in any way because they have not. So, so don't go stating that the camera, all the photographs have been tricked or enhanced in any way because they have not. The story of the Blue Kachina is a very old story, very old. Let's bow our hearts for a word of prayer. 
Well, Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you've allowed us this privilege of gathering together in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow! Whoa! That was a view. Do you know what? If that conga tree weren't there then, I would have caught a fucking view then. Do you know what, if that conga tree weren't there then, I would have caught it. Well, you've got Westford melts and shoulders all over there now, isn't it? But that was a bull there, not a girl, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's freaking the seagulls, eh? Isn't it? Oh, I want to get out of there. I like to get out of there. Blaster is too powerful for any being to possess. Now that it has served its purpose, let me destroy it. It may have a further purpose in Solus Prime. Hope you're rested up, Megatron, because it's time for the last to stand. Everything else, stay I here. I must have the Nicolae back in order to survive the Stay here? Apocalypse.